Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up layered animations to allow you to use your sword while you are moving. Now the reason why we haven't done that in the past is because we are not able to differentiate upper and lower half of our character so that we can apply a different animation for that. As of right now you can see I have to stop movement for the character to be able to swing the sword and that is because we only have one animation for it whereby it swings the sword while it's standing still. What I'm going to be doing in today's video is showing you how to merge the walking animation with the top half from the swinging animation so that the player is able to swing their sword while they are moving and it does a lot to the gameplay. It makes melee combat so much easier. So that is exactly what I'm going to be showing you how to do in today's video. So first things first, what you want to do then is go over to your character blueprint, uh, not your character blueprint rather, your sword character animation blueprint, open this up and what we've got to do is find our attacking state and within this attacking state I need to merge those two animations so it can play what it needs to play. So go back to your main state machine which should look a little bit like this and then within your sword underscore attack open this up and then from here what we've got to do is pretty much merge this player sword and shield slash with our walk run blend space so the way we're going to do this is using the layer blend per bone and you can see it here just add this in and then with this hook this up to your final animation pose and then with this for our base pose hook this up uh, just in here and then for our blend poses zero, hook this up to your walk run blend space. Just take that out from the asset browser in the bottom right. Hook this up and then obviously being a walk run blend space, you want to grab your direction, uh, the variable for that. And the same goes for the speed too. And then just hook this up so that we know everything works. What we need to do now then is select our layered blend per bone, go to layer setup, go to members and then add an element and this is where we're going to be differentiating between the upper and the lower half. Now for us to be able to do this effectively we need to be able to define a bone at which it's going to split the two animations essentially. So I'm going to go to the top right here and go to my skeletal view, give it a couple of seconds to open up and you can see I've got a list of all of the bones that we have available to us. Now we're going to be separating it, uh, uh, separating it by top and bottom and the way I'm going to be doing this is splitting it at the spine 1. So anything below spine 1 is going to be using the walk run blend space. Anything above that is going to be using the slash blend space. So that's going to be the arms, the head, the top of the spine, etc. So what you want to do from here is just essentially make sure you've got the name of spine 1 spelt correctly. So it's capital S, spine, and then 1. So with this information, Go back into your animation blueprint, select your laid blend per bone, and then in tight inside here for bone name, set this to spine one exactly how it was spelled a minute ago. And then for the blend depth, make sure you set this to one. Now that we've done this, what I'm going to do is using the anim preview editor in the bottom right here, is I'm going to turn up my speed, first things first, just to test this. And then if I hit slash sword, I just want to make sure that it's playing it properly and as of right now it's not that could be for two reasons it could be a because we haven't uh, set it up properly and you can see we've got some issues here and it looks like it's just not set up properly and I think the reason why is because I've got these the wrong way around if we hook these up so the base pose is the walk run and then the blend pose is it is our sword and shield turn up our speed now and then slash our sword, you can see it's going to use it while it's running and it's doing exactly what I want it to do. It's blending the two animations. So just make sure you get that right. Your base pose, the bottom half is going to be your walk run blend space. And then the blend pose zero is the one you're trying to add into that, which is going to be your sword slash. Anyway, so now that we've done this, we can go ahead and test this. However, if you remember, we set up some code which stopped the player movement to help combat this. So what I'm going to do is quickly go to that code which was inside of my sword character. 
So open up your main blueprint for that, just go to your blueprints folder, and then just find your sword character. And then what I'm going to do within here is find my default attack stuff, so ability 1, and then you can see here, I am disabling the movement. Don't really want that, I'm going to delete this, and I'm just going to hook this up here. And the bit over here as well where we set the movement mode, just delete this. Anything movement related, essentially you just want to delete this. If I compile this now, press play, and then run while I press 1, you're going to see it's going to run and it's still going to slash my sword. And we have now got melee combat while we are moving, while we are, you know, just being a little bit more dynamic. And it makes things a lot easier if you're trying to hit your enemies. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much everything for today's video. Don't forget you can apply this to your other abilities, including for the magic character. So if you want them to be able to cast abilities while they're in the air, you can do that using this layered blend per bone node. Now, it's something that we're going to be using over a couple of videos, so bear that in mind, we're going to be touching up on the magic character stuff. But for now, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep curating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.